Welcome back to another YouTube video and today I'm going to be showing you guys a little bit more on perplexity, some features that it has and some things that I actually like about it. So let's get into it. So for anybody that has never heard of it, perplexity.ai is essentially plugs into a couple of different LLMs, right? So if we click on the gear down below, um, I am on a paid subscription, but you guys can get it for two months for free if you just sign up. Um, it's literally two months for free, and then you can cancel um, before the two before the two months is up. So if you guys do want to um, test it out and see what it's like, you definitely can. <clears throat> now, some of the AI models that it does have is first of all, it's got perplexity, which is its own language model. Um, it's got the experimental, which is like a beta version. Um, there are a few things that it does bug out with the experimental, so sometimes it is better to just use the default version. However, with the experimental, how it works is they essentially test out new features on the experimental. Once it is essentially a little bit more rigid and it doesn't break, they then move it over onto the default version. So they're constantly up updating the actual LLM itself. You also have got GPT-4 as well, and you also have got Claude. Um, I will do a separate video on Claude, but Claude is essentially Amazon's um, LLM. Um, one thing I will say, the, the, the bad thing about uh, Claude um, is that it doesn't pull information from Amazon. Amazon has just invested into um Claude. So maybe in a future video, I might be doing an, an updated Claude version 3.5 and it actually does have a little bit more Amazon um, data being pulled into it. They also have got their own image generation, which is SDXL. You can, however, use DALI um, 3 as well to do your images. Now, the really good thing about Perplexity is it also has got Copilot as well. So you can give it a URL and it will go and read the article. So, for example, if I wanted to do a, if I wanted to do a, um, an article, let's say, what is um, link building, right? So... We could just go to the SEMrush blog here, give it this URL, can you read this uh, URL and give me a list of five things I should know about. So with Copilot it will go and essentially read this URL um, and it will come back with a list of five things. So for example, link building basics. Link building is the process of acquiring high quality inbound links to your website. Um, link building strategies, some popular link building strategies include marketing, email outreach, broken um, link building, unlinked mentions, PR, um, tools for link building. So you've got SEMrush, obviously SEMrush is gonna mention SEMrush and they're not gonna mention Ahrefs, but that's besides the point. Broken link building, this involves finding broken external links on other websites and suggesting your uh, content as replacements. Guest post blogging. Um, so one thing I'm going to also do is, can you give me a SOP for broken link building that I can start using? So now it will essentially write me a step-by-step -step SOP as well for broken link building, right? So step one, identifying your broken backlinks, um, finding dead links that were originally pointing to your website, tools uh, such as SEMrush's backlink audit tool, obviously they're gonna use SEMrush, but you can also use Screw the Frog because I have used this method in the past before. Um, identifying competitors broken backlinks um, so basically what this method is is you would take you would do the exact same scenario but you would take a look at your competitors see which links they used to have and what and they don't have any more and you can essentially reach out to those websites and say hey um, can you point that link through to my website I'm, I'm a similar website so say for example it's a law related um, article 
you as the law firm can essentially reach out to another website um, and do that evaluate link opportunities um, pr prioritize the broken link uh, building opportunities based on their potential value so then you've got that identify outreach contacts and it's also given us a outreach email template as well so this is pretty decent um, what it has come back with and not only that is it's also co it's one thing that I would like to mention is that it has broken this um, article down into a lot of different steps and also bolded key keywords and stuff like that so potentially even from a content point of view this isn't a bad piece of content as well um, it's also said following up which again if any if any of you guys are link builders or if you've done outreach in the past then uh, you know that the follow-up procedure is pretty important as well so that's um, that's that's really good um, from a prompt point of view one thing that I will also do as well is I'll show you a couple of different um, scenarios as well so this here um, this was in a previous video that I actually done um, I use perplexity for a few different things now that I've um, actually seen it in action but basically this article here um, really good article about topical authority I said go and read this article and create me a topical map based on um, best crypto wallets and essentially it's come back with a load of articles that I need on my website so it has obviously we've essentially taught the um, perplexity about topical authority it probably already knew what topical authority was but to this standard of this article by Dan Charles first of all it's went and read this entire article then it has come back with the um, topical map for best crypto wallets so the core topic is crypto wallets and then we've got subtopics underneath there um, so that has been perplexity um, one thing I will say is that it is really quick when it comes to essentially reading certain articles or potentially even coming back with certain articles. You can definitely use it for AI SEO. Um, one thing that I will also say as well is that, say for example, we um, wanted to use this um, prompt. Where was it now? So th th this, was, this was our original prompt, right? So now we have an SOP for broken link building. What you can then do is you can click share up here. You can then click um, share um, with the link. Now, if we open this in incognito, you can essentially send this URL through to any of your staff or your VAs, and they have the SOP to date. Um, and again, if you were to essentially add anything to this as the creator of the actual uh, prompt, they will have a live and um, updated version on their end as well. So from a staff training point of view, this is definitely something that you guys should be um, looking to use. Again, you have got a free version. You also have got a paid version as well. So if you guys do want to um, potentially play around see if it's worth actually getting prior to um, purchasing it definitely um, worth doing and also for example if we were going to create this into for example blog article what we could also do is click on generate image and we will do let's see uh, we'll do an illustration we'll see what that comes back with it. Now, sometimes the images are a bit hit and miss. You can also use the search image feature as well. Um, and what the search image feature will do is it will go to Google Images um, and find um, related Google Images. So for example, this is from Matthew Woodward's website. This is from Ahrefs. This is from ghostmarket.co.uk, Fazula. Not sure this might be from Ahrefs as well. This is obviously from Sam Rush, and I don't know who that is from. Let's actually generate one more image. We'll give it one last try because the image that it created was this. Um, one thing that you could do with this image is actually turn this into a usable image because when you are using AI to create your images, it doesn't actually um, use the, the, the proper text. So let's do generate image and we'll go with painting this time. 
We'll see if this one is any better. The images can be a bit hit and miss with AI um, at the minute, but that is apparently broken link building. Um, I'm not entirely certain how that is to do with broken link building, but that is what it has come back with. So that has been our review on Perplexity. If you guys do come up with any cool, crazy um, prompts, make sure to drop them down in the description and I will, or the comment section, and I will have a take, I'll, I'll take a look at them and see if there's anything that we can improve on as well. So if you guys have enjoyed, make sure to like the video and if you want to book me out for a free 15 minute strategy call for your website, make sure to check out casualdash.com. Thanks.